Rumors continue to run rampant about this age-old question. Some say manufacturers allow mice to nibble on Swiss before packaging the cheese. Others insist crafty deli owners cut the holes by hand with their carving knives. However, both of these conspiracy theories have more holes than, well, Swiss cheese. Truth be told, and it's a bit embarrassing, but Swiss cheese has holes because it has bad gas. That's right. Those holes in your sweet, nutty Swiss are actually popped bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. So where do these gassy bubbles come from? Well, all cheese begins with a combination of milk and starter bacteria. Yuck. The type of bacteria used helps determine the flavor, aroma, and texture of the finished cheese product. In this case of Swiss, cheesemakers use a special strain of bacteria called Propionobacter shirami. During the curing process, when the cheese ripens, this, we'll call it P. shiramani, eats away at the lactic acid in the cheese curd, tooting carbon dioxide gas all the while. Swiss cheese is a densely packed variety with a thick, heavy rind, so this built-up gas has nowhere to go. Trapped inside, the gas forms into bubbles. These bubbles eventually pop, leaving behind the characteristic holy air pockets. In formal cheese lingo, these holes are referred to as eyes, and the art of cheese making is such that their sizes can be controlled by adjusting acidity, temperature, and curing time. Dairies can create a mild baby Lorraine Swiss with lacy looking pinholes or a more assertive Emmentaler Swiss with eyes the size of walnuts. Oddly, in the United States, the size of Swiss cheese holes is subject to United States Department of Agriculture. Every wheel of grade A Swiss that is sold in America must have holes with diameters between 3 eighths and 13 six tenths of an inch. All of this goes to show that sometimes it's best not to overthink your cheese. Just slap it on a cracker, pour a glass of wine, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.